just really simple. It's just really simple stuff to make them work well, really. Yeah, nice. Most of it's bolt on stuff. Um, cam in them makes a big difference. Being a kind of eight valve. Yeah. What sort of profile is it? Um, I don't know what that one is. It's 270, isn't it? With I don't know. Sounds about right. I think it's 272 and it's um, 11 ish mil of lift, I think. I think. But this used to be that you'd get like the non turbo cams and use them in the turbo engines and what have you. And that used to be like the, the kind of easy way to change the cam. But the stock cam profile is really like flat it's very diesely yeah, about 4000 rpm it just runs out of power there's, there's nothing kind of above it it's obviously for pulling caravans and doing work you know like Perfect the cars like the cars designed to do yeah um so it used to be that you get like an na cam out of like a 2.3 non-turbo yeah and you stick that in it and they're all a good range of cams to get kind of more power out of it but recently they're getting harder and harder to find stuff you know find a 740 or 940 with an NA engine in it that's just sat there that you can pull the cam out of. When people do have them, they're a lot of money, which makes them, you know. Yeah. Nice. Same um, with the 20 valve stuff, a lot of people use NA cams in them. Yeah, it's, in this older stuff, it, it's very good. I think manufacturers at the time were like experimenting with really soft cam profiles to bring turbos on quickly. and Because yeah. it's gone from that kind of 80s turbo stuff where it's all very wood bang. And then this kind of era of turbo stuff is all trying to make it NA, isn't it? So like you say, the 20 valves are very like NA kind of power band when they're turbo cars, you know, in stock forms and the same what they're trying to achieve with this. But yeah, this cam in this is an aftermarket one. It's called a T3. It's from a company KG Trimming. Yeah. I think they're called. KL. Um, <laughs> <laughs> KL. KL or something like that. Yeah, they come from a company called Classic Sweet over here. So Pete's is actually one of the first two or three cars that I've used one of these camcrafts in. So again, that would be interesting to see where the power is in it. Because to me, what's your guess? My guess, my guess is I, I haven't actually been in it since it's running twenty psi of boost. It, it kicks. It, yeah, it should. It should come on and. Yeah, it does. Do that, Definitely yeah. does. Um, I don't know, you tell me what you think about Dyna is. At that kind of boost level, it should make 300 horsepower or knocking on the door of 300 horsepower. Oh, tell me crack it, Pete. Uh, in that kind of- You're hoping to. That kind of region, do you know what I mean? Of course. Um, <laughs> I, would say, I would say if it's running 20 PSI boost and you roll and road it and it makes 296 horsepower, I can turn it up, turn it up a couple of PSI. If you, I mean, if my attitude would be, that, let's turn it up now. Let's put it onto like let's full bar. Let's see. Let's see what it does. Because, like you say, you know, we've got had other cards in the kind of stable, as it were, that make this kind of power at this kind of boost level. And I'd be very interested to see what this slightly different turbo, slightly different cam setup, where that does make the power. If it's going to be different, where it's going to change, I would say that it's going to make its power later. Um, so I don't think you're going to get that 350 pound feet at 3000 rpm it does it comes in nice it though it does come in quite early does it yeah it really I, does yeah i, I, I really yeah, haven't been in it so but well, fucking i want to i want to see yeah i want to yeah. see what it does that's why i've come yeah. here because i want to see what it's it let's it. stop fucking talking and go and do it let's do it yeah, yeah.
Yeah, it's a nice curve. Right, come on, quick. Up the boost down Where's the bottom. Where's the magic button? Crank it. Oh, sure. Oh, man. Too quick. Is it wobbly? Ramp it right up, mate. No, not right up, but it'll take you, take you three. Four clicks. Go four. Ramp it up. It's going to ramp it up. Okay, we'll ramp it up. A bit more boost, then we'll send less fuel. Yeah. Good way to go. Happy Pete. <laughs> yeah, it, it stunk and it was dark black. Yeah. Well, with the injectors and whatever you want it, it should be, it should have enough fuel for doing whatever you want at this kind of power level. Do you know what I mean? That's kind of why they're all very similar. Keeps climbing the same sort of way, roughly, I guess. What do you put it down to? What's knocking it off? Could be fuel. fuel. But the, the problem well, yeah, I guess that's the. the, the yeah. is, it's, <laughs> that's a stupid question, isn't yeah, it? Because it's is rich as fuck. Yeah, that's. The, I mean, obviously, if it went aftermarket management and you had a lot more control over it, and that's you could, it, you could run it mathless as well. And that's exactly what I was saying before. You know, that's that's what you've got. You've got your three. Yours is quite nice and steady and comes up, mm. doesn't it? Looks like it lost traction there as yeah. well. Yeah, he said it was a waste. Yeah. <laughs> but we didn't, we didn't source nothing on that. Yeah, but so that's, yeah, so here is where it kind of half broke traction and come back in. Yeah. Um, as it, as it basically. I was a bit late for it to break traction kind of thing. Yeah. It was already nicely on it. Um, and then that's literally what I was saying. That is your, that is your, probably your difference between standalone. You could probably, like, it's probably, because the thing is, they'll pull time in and they'll richen it up. Yeah. And it, there's not really much you can do. Yeah. It just, no, that's what it does. And that's, and that's the thing is, if you went aftermarket with it, you would kind of put the time back in up top. Oh, can you not tell? This is him ecstatic, mate. You just need yeah. to know him well enough. He's like a fucking geezer off uh, Brooklyn 99, isn't he? Like, he's a fucking, the chief, the chief cop off there. Yeah. I am thoroughly ecstatic, right? Yeah, that's exactly, that's what Pete is. Pete is I'm absolutely over the moon.